Well, here on Super Bowl Radio Row on Wednesday, it's just nonstop action. It starts off slowly. We like to be here every day, and you can see the steady build. And joining us now is a man who's got two Super Bowl rings, but he's not wearing them right now. <laughs> Charlie Batch, former uh, Detroit Lion, of course, uh, quarterback, and then all those years with the Pittsburgh Steelers, two Super Bowls, and now here on Radio Row. How are you, man? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me. Now, you just saw Ryan Leap was just here, and you guys were in the same draft yes, class. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> it's been a while. I haven't seen him in a while. I'm just like, yeah, that was. they were the first two quarterbacks taken. I, they were already partying, and I'm still waiting for my name to be called. <laughs> <laughs> and you went on and had a great career. Obviously, the other guy uh, had a pretty good career, too, that mm -hmm. was drafted. Ryan, you know, an amazing story, and I'm glad to see that he's doing great things to help mm -hmm. people who need help. And uh, – you got the two rings, so why don't you wear the Super Bowl rings, Sean? I, well, I didn't, have it, uh, I didn't wear them today just because I was ripping and running early this morning, <laughs> and you know, quite frankly, I'm just like, oh, okay, well, I'll put it on at some point. Beautiful. I just don't have them, unfortunately, for now, this interview. Now, you're the ambassador for the Puppy Bowl because at halftime, a lot of people turn over to Animal Planet, because it's and this year, and it's a special thing for me because my son rescues dogs. And my son, who just mm -hmm. has house burned down in Delaware, a couple of weeks before Christmas, and he had 14 dogs, senior dogs that he rescues. And this year, for the first time, Animal Plant is going to have rescue dogs right on the puppy bowl. Yes, this is exciting. And I have a bunch of uh, I have a bunch of uh, rescues that I have in my house as well. And this gives an opportunity to really showcase the wonderful dogs that are there. And 100 percent of the dogs actually are adopted. So that's the beauty of of everything that's going on. And I was at as high as eight dogs in my house at one point, and five of them were rescued. Wow. Right now I'm at five and three are rescued. So <laughs> it's just beautiful to really be able to incorporate them, and, and, and that's just something for me I just love and enjoy them. Yeah, my son's got 14 dogs in his house mm. right now with his wife, and, and a lot of the dogs are older. You know, people don't people want to adopt, and it's becoming more and more popular. Mm -hmm. But older dogs, dogs that aren't 100% healthy, people, those are the dogs that are the ones that, that people are, are afraid and reluctant, but they're some of the sweetest animals out there, man. Absolutely, and, it, and that's how that, that actually how I got my first rescue because somebody uh, left her because they couldn't afford the ACL surgery. So I had a Rottweiler come into the house. They actually uh, repaired it, and we brought her into the house, and the, the pe they trained her wonderfully because when she got to the house, and this is a Rottweiler, so she literally was hitting the door, and I'm like, what is this dog doing? But it was hitting the door because it had to go out and go to the bathroom. So she went out, did her business, came back in, and I was it. I said, oh, this is great. This is wonderful. I don't have to train it. I'm looking at my two uh, Bijans, the originals. I'm, how come you can't do that? Why weren't you able to? I'm trying to teach them how to t uh, ring a bell, and they couldn't do the bell. Well, I, I mean, that's that's a misconception. Like, a lot of people think, oh, we're going to get a puppy. We're going to get a puppy. They have no idea how difficult puppies are and how time-consuming they yeah. are. They have a complete misconception because all they can think about is how adorable they are. And oftentimes, the older puppies or older dogs are easier to integrate into your house. Yes, and that's something that and it really tested my patience with my two youngest one because I wanted a puppy. I knew that, but people said, oh, you may need two because you may not be home all the time. You need They need somebody to play with. Problem was that they didn't know each other's name. You know, you yell at one and the other one thinks it's in trouble. You you know, you pray. it was just difficult to do. It took time to do on them. But when I literally from day one with an older dog into the house, it was unbelievable. And now, you know, it was a little easier to kind of incorporate because, you know, when I let the dogs out the front door, they know they're not coming in the front door. They have to meet me at the side. <laughs> and that's where they come in to eat. And it, that's just kind of how it is. And people are just like, how do you do that? And it just, it just, took time and I had to get the dogs on a schedule but it made it easier with an older dog well you know it's great about because you know here at Super Bowl every year athletes take up causes but the fact that you actually have dogs because you know a lot of athletes the company approaches them and says hey why don't you go to Super mm -hmm. Bowl Radio Row and promote my product but when you're, you're promoting the puppy bowl and you are a guy who believes in what's going on here with these animals because you have rescued dogs. And that's cool to see because, you know, anybody can take some money from a, hey, go pr promote my product. But you're, you're a man who's living the, the actual life of what the Animal Planet people are doing with the a Puppy Bowl. Absolutely. And this is something that uh, they, they tell me the stories and say they, you know, the people at the Puppy Bowl, and they're saying, you know, how long it takes them to kind of put this whole production together and it just takes time to do it. And it takes hours and hours and hours. And I'm like, well, I know that because it takes me an hour and some change just to get a photo shoot together for five dogs. <laughs> and you have the photographer there, and I'm smiled out. I'm like, I kind of, my jaws hurt. I can't smile, but they need the perfect picture because they want all dogs to be happy. Right. They want them all looking at the camera. And after a while, I'm just kind of like, I can't do it. So I can only imagine, and kudos to everyone at Animal Planet for really having the patience to really do that for so long. And I'm just trying to get to that point. I'm close, but I am really have a far way to go. Charlie Batchett, of course, on Sunday at halftime of the Super Bowl. You can uh, follow the conversation on social media 
at Animal Planet and hashtag Puppy Bowl this Sunday for the Super Bowl 51. Yeah. Who let the dogs out? That's the big question, there John. You Who do you like in the game? Actually, well, I like Team Fluff in the Puppy Bowl. I what? do like them over Team Rough. They so just the, seem like the underdogs. So the two teams are which ones again? Team Fluff and Team Rough. Team Fluff and Team Rough, and you have Team Team Fluff, just Fluff. because it's like it's like they're the underdog. Okay, but beautiful. so that's the Puppy Bowl. But when I uh, looking at this game on, on on the Super Bowl here, I you know it's tale of two for me because I want to see Matt Ryan win his first mm-hmm. because of the season that he had. But on the flip side, I want to see history made with Tom Brady and right. Belichick. I want to see that happen. So. But I think when I look at these teams, I, I think the Patriots has a better defense. I think they're able to slow the Falcons down a lot uh, better than anybody could this year. And I think right now, I think I'm going with the Patriots. I think they win this game 24-20. Charlie Batch, great to see you. Good work with Animal Planet, man, and the Puppy Bowl. Man, Thanks for coming on, man. Appreciate it. Thank you.